But the Republicans talking about cutting Social Security benefits, Senator Bernie Sanders is taking the opposite route and is trying to expand it. And he just went to the White House to pressure President Biden to do so. So now, the, this is according to the Washington Post, Jeff Stein, who reported on Thursday that Sanders had a private meeting with President Biden. Ooh, interesting. Uh, now, the report notes that Biden aides have recently discussed hiking payroll taxes on the wealthy in order to shore up Social Security. Uh, Sanders' proposal, uh, and by the way, this sounds like uh, Sanders' uh, original proposal. Uh, which would raise the cap on how much income is subject to the payroll taxes that pay for Social Security. Currently, workers' first $160,200 in earnings are taxed, and the earnings beyond that are not taxed. So that's the issue. Under a proposal from Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, other Democrats, that cap would be eliminated, and income over $250,000 would be subject to payroll taxes. So, look, doing that, eliminating that cap and then having wealthy people pay into it. That's literally the most simple and most effective fix for social security. You don't have to cut benefits. People earn those benefits. They're earned benefits. Okay. That's what we call them earned benefits. And uh, you don't have to raise a retirement age, which again is a cut in social security. No, you could just lift the cap. Get rid of it. There's no reason that it should have been there in the first place. It shouldn't have existed. And if you do so, slam dunk. You know why? Because Social Security, Medicare, understand these programs and Medicaid are extremely popular all across the aisle. Everyone across the political spectrum loves Social Security. And by the way, they, you know Medicare and all these things. And so... The American people, they would be with you if you not only lift this cap, but also expand Social Security, which is another thing that uh, uh, Bernie Sanders had also uh, said that he should, uh, that, that Biden should do. Um, in fact, uh, part of Bernie's plan is also to add an additional $200 for each person on Social Security. Not bad. And, you know, look. Polling indicates that, of course, the American people are against raising the retirement age. Again, that's a cut. They want to expand Social Security benefits, and they want the rich to pay for it. That's it. You, you can look at every single poll. It's a slam dunk. That said, that doesn't mean the Biden administration is going to go in that direction. Why do I say that? Well, according to a White House official, the White House is not endorsing any specific plan or bill. The president says he welcomes proposals from all members of Congress on how to keep Social Security solvent and make the pro program even stronger. I get concerned about that. When they say, oh, we're, we're going we're, we're gonna to make it solvent and make it stronger. How are you going to do that, though? Look, Biden is uh, promised on the campaign trail to raise payroll taxes on those earning $400,000 a year. Okay, lift the cap, do that, and yes, you can fund Social Security in perpetuity. That would actually raise about $740 billion over 10 years, according to the Tax Policy Center. Do that. Why are you now suddenly entertaining plans from everyone else? Oh, we just want to hear feedback from everyone else, you know, and, and on what to do. You already had a plan, you campaigned on it. And now Bernie Sanders is telling you, hey, I got a plan too. Let's do this. Let's get this fixed. It's bizarre. Uh, I, I don't understand what they're doing in the White House. Uh, now, that said, uh, Robin Patterson, a White House spokesperson, told Business Insider, quote, the biggest threats to Social Security and Medicare are House and Senate Republican efforts to get a program millions of Americans have been paying into since their first job as teenagers. I mean... Yes, yes, that's true. But at the same time, remember, Joe Biden had also put Social Security on the table during the Obama administration when they were negotiating with Mitch McConnell to make this uh, the grand bargain, which again would cut Social Security in order to 
I believe it was uh, raise the debt limit. And by the way, again, Republicans are also saying we might use the debt limit to try to force cuts in social programs. Now, uh, uh, this uh, White House spokesperson also said the president promised to keep Medicare solvent and won't budge on paying out every penny in benefits. Okay, all right. And says, we look forward to Republicans sharing their plan with the American people as well, since they had promised to pass a budget this year. I don't really care about the Republican plan. Honestly, um, they have no plan. <laughs> Let's just say that. They have no plan. And by the way, they're not in charge. Yes, they have the House. Democrats have the Senate and the White House. Joe Biden's in charge. Maybe he should take the lead on this. Look, what, what Biden did at the State of the Union, calling out Republicans uh, on wanting to cut Social Security, I thought that was fantastic. Yes, more of that. But now that you've done that and you've called Republicans out, you should put forward your plan. And then, you know, actually fight for it. I, that's what I want to see. I think that's the American pe uh, what the American people want to see. They want to see fighting for expanding Social Security against the Republican cuts. You've already laid out that, yes, it's Republicans that want to cut Social Security, Medicare. Great. Now come out and say, here's my plan to make sure that uh, Social Security is solvent for the end of time. 